Smash Ultimate is a great game, but it's about five years old and the last DLC character was released two years ago. People are beginning to wonder what to expect in Super Smash Bros. 6, and recently, Sakurai hinted at wanting to work on it with Nintendo. Ganondorf entered the Smash scene in Melee and has been a popular pick ever since, but so many of us have been wondering why in the world, after 20 years, Ganondorf is still essentially an Echo Fighter of Captain Falcon. There are many things I hope we get in the next Smash Bros. game, and at the top of that list, is getting a completely new Ganondorf. What changes will we have? I'll discuss what changes I hope to see in Ganondorf's style, moveset, and balance. But before we move on, I need to give a spoiler warning for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This video would contain major spoilers because I'm discussing details about the final boss. I would imagine most people have already beaten the game by now, but just in case you haven't, you have been warned. Alright, there's a lot to discuss, so here we go. Style for Ganondorf at Smash hasn't changed much over the years. In Melee, his style was based on his appearance in the Ocarina of Time. In Brawl and Smash 4, his style was based on his appearance in the Twilight Princess. Then in Smash Ultimate, his style returned to being based on his Ocarina of Time design. Sakurai probably chose this style because the World of Light featured the boss battle against Ganon from the Ocarina of Time. Smash Ultimate also gave Ganondorf a sword, not from any of the games, but from the Space World 2000 GameCube tech demo. Yeah, I had no idea that was a thing until I looked it up. In Smash 6, Ganondorf's style should be based on his appearance in Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, how could it not? This is the first game we've seen an official version of Ganondorf since Twilight Princess back in 2006. And man oh man, Ganondorf in Tears of the Kingdom is so awesome. Definitely my favorite rendition in the Zelda series so far. Not only does it go from being a terrifying mummified corpse as a phantom Ganon to being a fully fleshed Gerudo King, but he also uses the Zonai Secret Stone of Darkness to become the Demon King, and even that isn't his final form. After swallowing the stone, he transforms into the epic Demon Dragon. He's one of the few villains that can make Frieza run for his money when it comes to transformations. In the next Smash game, Ganondorf's default skin will likely be in his full fleshed version, wearing his Gerudo outfit. That outfit can be changed into different colors, but my hope is his darker color will be his Phantom Ganon. I'd love to see a fight between Dark Link and Phantom Ganon. I suppose Ganondorf's Demon King skin could also be one of his options, but I actually have other plans for that transformation that I'll explain later. Ganondorf should also use the same sword he uses in Tears of the Kingdom. It's made in the fashion of a samurai sword, far sleeker than his massive sword in Smash Ultimate. It reminds me a bit of Sephiroth's sword, though not quite as long. But that's not the only weapon Ganondorf uses in Tears of the Kingdom. He also wields a two-handed Gloom Club, a Gloom Spear, and the Demon King's Bow. And last of all, and this is probably too much to ask, but I hope Ganondorf in Smash 6 could be voiced by none other than Matthew Mercer, the same legendary voice actor and renowned Dungeon Master who voiced him in Tears of the Kingdom. You witness a king's revival. I doubt that'll happen, but one can dream. Ganondorf's moveset has been based off of Captain Falcon's moveset ever since he was introduced in Smash Melee. Ganondorf wasn't planned to be included as a playable character. However, the convenience of him having a body build very similar to Captain Falcon's allowed him to be easily cloned from Captain Falcon, leading to his inclusion as one of the last minute clones to pad out the roster. That makes sense for Melee. But then Brawl and Smash 4 went by without any changes. At least Smash Ultimate made some moveset changes by letting him swing his sword for his smash attacks, the flame choke, volcano kick, and skull splitter. But the next Smash game should give Ganondorf a new moveset based off of what he can do in Tears of the Kingdom. However, many Smash players have come to love Ganondorf's slower yet stronger version of Captain Falcon's moveset, so maybe some of those favorite moves will remain. Oh man, he is, he is afraid of what I'm gonna do! Yeah! <laughs> Ganondorf is so much fun. <laughs> he's not the best character by far, but he's fun to play. Let's yeah. start with Ganondorf's basic attacks. His jab could be a quick triple or quadruple attack with his sword, just like he does in his boss battle. Not too different from Link's current jab. This jab will need to be quick since many of Ganondorf's other moves are slower. His forward tilt could be another sword attack, but I hope he keeps his smash ultimate This is Sparta kick. This is Sparta! Yeah, let's not get rid of that. Up tilt has got to change. His current volcano kick is powerful and a fun noob killer, 
but it's awful in competitive Smash because it's so slow. Tilts are not supposed to be slow. So let's give Ganondorf her vertical sword attack, either something like Ike's or Sephiroth's up tilts. Down tilt could be a low horizontal swipe of a sword, similar to Link's or Ike's down tilts. This would be a great combo starter, which would be a big deal for Ganondorf since he currently only has his down throw as a reliable combo starter. Dash attack could be a lunging vertical gloom club attack, functioning similar to Link's current dash attack. However, this is such a slow and punishable move, I wouldn't want it. Ganondorf's dash attack in Smash Ultimate is actually pretty good, where he does a shoulder tackle, similar to Captain Falcon and Samus. I'd like to keep it, but I've got a better idea. He could do this running spear thrust like he does in the boss battle. This would function kind of like Robin's dash attack, except with way more range and power. For his smash attacks, I think we should keep all of them. They're so fun because they're so huge and powerful, even though they're slow. That's what playing a heavy is all about, giving up some agility for destructive power. One important change though, for each one of these smash attacks, Ganondorf should use his massive gloom club, just like he does in the boss battle. Now on to the aerials. First off, many people have mentioned that they want Ganondorf to have a floating mechanic, just like he does in Ocarina of Time, where it would function in Smash like Peach's floating ability. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I don't think this is going to happen in Smash 6, because this Ganondorf will likely be based off of Tears of the Kingdom, and he doesn't float in battle in this game. Plus, the Smash devs have made all of the characters that can float or are floaty in the air very light, and Ganondorf, especially in Tears of the Kingdom, is definitely not a light character. So sorry, but I don't think you should have a floating ability. Forward air and back air can function similar to Byleth's, where Ganondorf uses his spear to make these powerful ranged attacks. Giving Ganondorf disjointed aerials like these would help him to approach and get around projectiles. For the rest of his aerials, Nair, up air, and down air, I think they shouldn't change because they're so iconic and useful. Nair is a quick and powerful double kick that works as a decent out of shield option and even killing option. His up air is good for juggling and protecting his recovery. And his down air, oh man, that stomp is so much fun on stage and even more fun off stage. I don't know if Sakurai will change everything about Ganondorf for Smash 6, but I hope he keeps his stomping down air so we can keep dunking noobs for years. His throws may change as well, but the only changes I care about is that his down throw can still lead into combos, and at least one of his throws can KO around 120% at the ledge. Right now, his deadliest throw is his back throw at the ledge, which KOs around 145%. The Demon King deserves a stronger throw. And you know what would be cool? Is if Ganondorf used the gloom hands to grab her to throw. Ganondorf should get something to represent his ability to perfect dodge and flurry rush. That was one of the coolest, most unexpected moments in the boss battle, because perfect dodging had always been Link's unique ability, but then Ganondorf does it back at him? So sick. This could work in Smash, like Bayonetta's Bats Within or Mithra's Foresight. Whenever he spot dodges or rolls away from attack, his opponent slows down for a split second, giving him a chance to retaliate. And you know, if Ganondorf gets this ability, then Link should get it too since they both can perfect dodge. Now on to Ganondorf's specials. Nutra special has been Warlock Punch since the beginning, but it's time to wave it goodbye and finally give Ganondorf a sorely needed projectile. In so many Zelda games, Ganondorf hurls a magic sphere of energy at Link, who then hits it back and forth like badminton until someone gets hit. And this same mechanic exists in Tears of the Kingdom. Ganondorf shoots gloom spheres using his gloom weapons, and Link can hit them back using his Master Sword. So, in Smash 6, Ganondorf can tap B to pull out his Demon King's bow and shoot a Gloom Arrow at his opponent. The longer he pulls on the bow, the more Gloom Arrows he shoots, reaching a maximum of 3. When they hit, they deal Gloom damage, which deals damage over time. He can cancel pulling on the bow by pressing the Shield button, just like Sephiroth's Neutral Special. And like King Dedede's Gordo, the opponent can hit all the Gloom Arrows back at Ganondorf, and vice versa. The tricky thing is that if three arrows are shot, and the opponent hits the first one back, it'll cling with the second arrow, and the third one will continue through, striking the opponent. This will give Ganondorf the ability to zone, gain more stage control, and even snipe the mere mortals who oppose him. Side special has been Flame Choke, which is a fitting move for a Demon King, but I hope we get something like this spear charge he does in the boss battle. You hold side special to charge up the attack, and the longer you hold it, the farther you go. This will work like Ike's side special, but hit much harder. Maybe about as hard as Charizard's side special, 
and have similar super armor for good measure. This will give Ganondorf another recovery option, and anything that aids his recovery is a big deal. To make it most optimal, after he uses an air, he doesn't go into a freefall like Ike does. And speaking of recovery, let's discuss his up special. His current up special, Dark Dive, is a copy of Captain Falcon's up special. It should go, but what to replace it with? Ganondorf doesn't really do any upward moves in Tears of the Kingdom, so for a while I considered this being his float ability, which would function like Rob's up special. That would be cool, but then I noticed this. How about this? Ganondorf does the same hero spin that Link does. Maybe Ganondorf will get his own hero spin in Smash 6. Well, it'll have to be called the Demon Spin or something like that. On ground, this would be a quick, powerful out of shield option which Ganondorf currently lacks. And just like Link, he can use it to recover. But I would expect it to be different from Link's in some way, probably larger and cover more vertical distance since his side special will focus on moving him more horizontally. Down special should no longer be the slower, stronger version of the Falcon Kick. Instead, he should perform this terrifying slam with his Gloom Club. The longer it's charged, the more damage it does. And at full charge, it's an insta-KO, just like Roy's, Ike's, and Sephiroth's neutral special. It'll function most like Ike's eruption, but with some differences. Like in the boss battle, this attack could cause area damage all around Ganondorf, including behind him, kinda like Robin's down smash. And just like Byleth's down special, it should have lots of super armor and deal a ton of shield damage. So this is basically a better version of the Warlock Punch, and it comes straight from Tears of the Kingdom. Now it's time to give Ganondorf a comeback mechanic. Just like in the boss battle, where he transforms into his second form, the Master of the Secret Stone, Ganondorf should make this same transformation when he reaches enough damage, or is far enough behind in the fight, similar to Sephiroth's winged form. Now each of his attacks deal more damage, and each of his specials deal gloom damage, and have some upgrades. The side special, Spear Charge, shoots three homing gloom spheres while he's charging the attack. The down special, Gloom Club Pound, shoots out five Gloom Spheres while he's charging. They go left, up, right, and two upward diagonals. And the up special, Demon Spin, has an extended reach, charged with Gloom Power. I don't think the Gloom Arrows can do what they do in the boss battle, where the spheres surround the opponent, but maybe Ganondorf can fire five arrows instead of three. Maybe I've gone too far. This might make Ganondorf too powerful, so this comeback mechanic should have some limitations. Maybe it'll disappear like Sephiroth's wing when he has the lead. Or whenever he's charging on these attacks and his gloom spheres are knocked back at him, they cancel his attack, even if he has super armor. Or if giving a heavy a comeback mechanic is too OP, then this second form of the Demon King could just be an alternate skin. But Incineroar and Kazuya are heavies with comeback mechanics, so why can't Ganondorf have one too? And last but not least, Ganondorf's Final Smash. I really like his current one, where he transforms into Ganon and charges across the screen. But to make it more up to date, Ganondorf should transform into the Demon Dragon, then charge horizontally across the screen, dragging all of his foes into the Blast Zone. Ganondorf has been placed as dead last on the official tier list for Smash Ultimate. And that's because he's slow, big, easy to combo, easy to zone, lacks good defensive options, has a poor recovery, and the list goes on. This is another reason Ganondorf fans are begging for a better version of him in Smash 6. He is one of the greatest villains in the entire history of video games, and he's the worst Smash fighter? That's outrageous! The Demon King deserves better. So how to fix it? Easy, change his stats. Make him faster and harder to hit. But wait a second, we don't want to make him no longer feel like a heavy powerhouse. That's how he's portrayed in Tears of the Kingdom. Just look at how much bigger he is than Link. So yeah, he still needs to be big and have some slow moves that deal tons of damage, like the ones I mentioned earlier. But I definitely believe he deserves a speed boost. Just look at how fast he can move in the boss battle. I could barely outrun him. Bowser and Charizard both have fast dash speeds even though they're heavies. So why can't Ganondorf? Sure, he won't be as fast as Captain Falcon, but don't make him so slow he can't even get around projectile spamming. Other than his stats, his moveset makes a big impact in his balance, and I believe some of the options I discussed will bring him up on the tier list. 
Having a good horizontal option that goes three times the distance as his current size special will help his recovery. Having projectiles of his own will help him control the stage and avoid getting zoned out. Having a comeback mechanic will give him the extra edge to win more matches and hopefully show up in grand finals at majors. My two favorite video game franchises are Super Smash Bros and The Legend of Zelda. So I hope Smash 6 will do better at representing Ganondorf and the other Zelda characters. If you want to see more content like this, like this video and subscribe. There are more characters that could use improvements going into Smash 6. Let me know in the comments what are the characters I can make a video about. Also, if you're new to my channel, then check out my playlist on how to beat every character in Smash Ultimate. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.